So let's put the computers in their context. Let's look a little bit at their usage and the networks. Again, you see no computers in my lectures. At the top there, you have a handsome cab. It's like the forerunner of the London taxi. It was designed to be very comfortable, and it was designed to go at pretty fast speeds. These horses, you know, they, they did about two bags of hay for 100 kilometers. It was a really impressive, they really went. It was designed for speed and for comfort, but it became popular not because it was fast or comfortable. It became popular because the streets were so filthy with all the horse shit and everything else on there, that if you stepped out of your street and started walking down the roads, you want to go meet your mates, for a beer, or you wanted to go and do some serious business, you arrived stinking. It was impossible to move around London in the 19th century without stinking. So, first of all, it's straight from the front door step, up the step, into the carriage and off. First usage. Second usage was the streets of London in 1860, whatever, very dangerous places, especially if you've got a bit of cash and you're rich. So you're probably going to get robbed. So very good idea for safety. Have a big guy at the back with a whip. You could jump down and beat up people who try and jump in. But you see, the evolution is not so amazing, especially when you think that the monster at the bottom of my car there. I thought I'd just show you a picture of my car. <laughs> so, you know, working for Citrix is very rewarding. That car, five years ago, okay, maybe didn't exist in that model. But it took longer to get across London in that car than it did in this contraption all those years ago. Because the networks were completely congested and they hadn't adjusted technology to the network or the network to the technology. I think we recognize this scenario somewhere. 